Hello, hello there, neighborinos. We got four pieces of news today. First one on the docket is the Nintendo Labo update for VR. As I'm sure many of you have already found out, the Nintendo Labo VR is going to launch on the 20th of April this month. However, with that, we can expect a couple big name Nintendo titles to get VR updates. Those ones are, as you could probably guess from the picture on screen, are Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this story is coming out of Kotaku, so, you know, reputable source by now. Um, now, Super Mario Odyssey is just going to be something akin to a mini game or a small experience, whereas The Legend of Zelda, you can expect the entire game to be playable in, in VR. Except for the cutscenes, of course. Well, you can still see the, the cutscenes, but you won't be able to experience them through the eyes of Link. But, you know, it, it's something. And for those of you who are looking to give the some kind of VR experience to your kids, or you want a cheaper VR system for yourself, this would be a, a good entrance into it, as the Nintendo Labo VR kit will only run you $40. You heard that right. It is $40. It's going to be $40 when it launches this month on the 20th of April, 2019. Uh, next up, we got some unfortunate news about Mod Saber, everyone's favorite way to mod the PC version of Beat Saber by adding a by adding new songs. Now, this news is coming from the Road to P the Road to VR website, and all the associated associated links that I'll be talking about will be in the description. So check check the links out there if you're confused about anything I'm trying to say. Okay, so because of the recent rebuild of Beat Saber, Mod Saber was, well, had to get torn down again. Now, this is not, this is not permanent, and the developers have stated on said website that they are working on a more permanent solution, something that will allow us to create our new songs regardless of whether Beat Saber is updated or not. Okay. Now, in the meantime, while they are working on that, they have, in fact, released links about that will detail not only where you can find your old mods, but also how you can go about installing them and just about anything you really would need to know. Now again, all of these associated links you can find in the description down below. So do keep that in mind if you really need any of those, any of that information that is down there. Okay, next up, we have the 3D rudder. Now this is developed by a third party but it has been licensed officially by PlayStation. So this 3D rudder is designed to replace the teleportation system that we've seen in quite a few different games. Now, taking a look at the compatibility list, it's relatively small, it's only 25 to 30 games, and I did not see any of the big name titles, namely Skyrim, Borderlands, uh, like there, there was a, a sh shooter that I was, that I, I keep jumping back and forth on. It's one that PSVR Frank started working with the developers on. Uh, but I didn't see Bravo Team on there. There's a, a couple games like here and there that I was kind of iffy on. But whether or not they'll actually come to the big AAA titles that, that we all have in our libraries is going to be something else. 
Uh, the only other thing that may be of note here is it is it is launching on the 17th of June. And while there are while there is a link available for pre-order, the PlayStation the PlayStation version is not available for said pre-order. However, the price listed is $119, Euros, and Pounds. So, I'm not even sure why they would accept the same quantity in all three currencies. But, your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, the final The Holy Grail, or something close to it, of virtual reality. Uh, Redditor Einemann has discussed in the subreddit virtual reality his experiences with the Manus glove in Germany. So by the sounds of it, it is especially, it is not tactile yet. We, he was not able to, he was not able to feel or touch anything. It was still, it seemed like it was still in the development stages, but it may be something that we can look forward to in the coming years. Now, this glove did use quite a bit of light tracking by the sounds of it, something similar to what the PlayStation VR currently uses. Either that or the PlayStation, or the, or the HTC Vive. By the sounds of it. However, the fact that it has so many different trackers may mean that we are on the verge of something even greater. But that's just speculation for now. So, as always, the links will be down in the description below. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how much I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.